Welcome back to another Advent of Code tutorial video. Today we'll be looking at 2022 Day 3. So, one elf has the important job of loading all the rucksacks. That part we can all skip. Each rucksack has two large compartments. All items of a given type are meant to go in exactly one of the two, but the elf that did this failed to follow the rule for exactly one item type. So there's a list of all of the items currently in each rucksack, which is the input. So this is an example of the input. They need your help finding the errors. Each item type is a single letter, and uppercase is different from lowercase. The list of items is given as the characters in a single line, and each rucksack has the same number of items in each compartment. So the first half is one compartment, and the second half is the other. So given this, um, we are supposed to find the overlap. So if we look at the first rucksack, this is where it's divided. So this is the first half, this is the second half, and there's exactly one letter which is shared in both, which is lowercase p. And so we do that for each rucksack. And now to help prioritize item rearrangement, each item type can be converted into a priority. So we number them lowercase from 1 to 26, uppercase from 27 to 52. So in this above example, the priority type sums up to 157. And given your input, what is the priority of these item types? So let's grab our test input and grab our main input. Okay, so one neat trick I learned for reading lines is you can use open zero to open standard input. This I already knew, but you can actually iterate through this by just doing for line and open zero. So this is a very fast way to read all the lines of input. So since we're trying to get the sum of the priorities, uh, let us do just standard total equals zero and then at the very end we'll print the total. So for each line, the first half is the first compartment, the second half is the second compartment. So we want to divide it in half first. So x will be the divider, it's the length of the line divided by two. And then we can just do a, b equals, or I'm sorry, a equals line up to x and b equals line from x beyond. So if we print a and b, we can verify that these halves are correct. Uh, I have AOT set up to just run my program with the test input. So we can see here that it does divide our rucksacks in half properly. So now Python is very convenient for this challenge because you can just use set manipulation to get the intersection. So what we can do is just take the set form of A, which also removes duplicates, which doesn't matter here, and use the AND operation, which is set intersection. And so if we do that, we see that it gives us the overlaps. And so now we just need to grab the first element of each. Now, you could turn this into a list and grab the zeroth element, but since you can iterate through a set, you can actually take advantage of Python's um, iterable assignment here. What this means is we're going to take the right half and iterate through it, and then assign that to the left half. And since the set has exactly one item, we don't have order randomness, and so this basically just says let k equal the only item in the set. If the set doesn't have exactly one item, this will cause an error, but we don't have to worry about that. Now we just need to, uh, I'll just print k just so you can see that it does work correctly. And now we just need to get the priority. So if k is greater than or equal to a, we do t plus equals ord of k minus ord of, oh sorry, if k is greater than or equal to lowercase a, then it goes from 1 to 26. So we subtract ord of a and add 1. And otherwise, if it's uppercase, we subtract ord of capital A and then we add 27 because capital A has a priority of 27. And so if we run this on the test input, we get 157. That is correct. So we run this on the main input, we get 7674, which is correct. For part two, after you finish identifying these, the elves come with another issue. For safety, the elves are divided in groups of three, and each one has a badge that identifies their group. For efficiency, within the group, the badge is the only type carried by all three elves. That is, if a group's badge is item type B, then all three elves in this group will have B somewhere in their rucksack, and at most two of the elves will be carrying any other type. In other words, there is again only one uh, item that fits this. The problem is someone forgot to put the year's update authenticity sticker on the badges, so they have to be pulled out of the rucksack to reattach them. And nobody wrote down which item type correlate, uh, corresponds to each group, so the only one a way to figure this out is to 
look for the item type that is common between all three elves. So every set of three lines correlates to a single group, but each group can have a different badge item type. So now we have to divide them into groups of three. So here the four line in open zero part unfortunately doesn't quite work so nicely. So I'm going to fall back to the previous while true, try x equals input, and then we just repeat this three times to grab the next three lines of input. And if we run out of inputs, we can just break. So now it's very similar. Instead of looking at A and B, which were the first and second half, we just take X, Y, and Z. And since this will give us exactly one item in the overlap, and again, we just need to find the sums of the priorities, the rest of our code remains basically the same. The same logic happens, except instead of looking at first half and second half, we take three lines of input, find their intersection, take the only element, add its priority, and print the total. And so on the test input, we get 70. So we proceed to running the normal input, 2,805. And that is the correct answer for day three. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and enjoyed. Check back tomorrow for day four.